Okay, sorry, if you guys hear any background noise, um, it's raining, it's thundering. There's been so many factors that have been trying to stop me from filming this video, but I'm gonna film it anyways because I've really been wanting to film this video, so. <sighs> Rolling. What's the quality giving? Because I feel like this quality is actually really nice for an iPhone. Hey glam girls and guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emiade and today I'll be showing you how to change your life using this self-love mindset. Some of us already know these things, some of us need to be reminded of these things and you might learn something new today. In this video, I'll be explaining to you how you can exercise this mindset and how it can change your life in several aspects such as work, relationships, productivity, success, everything, okay? So if you want to see how you can change your life using this self-love mindset that I like to practice, keep watching. So I call this the self-love mindset because in my opinion, I think this is really the epitome of self-love. Self-love can be mistaken for a lot of things. It can be mistaken in a more materialistic way. It can be mistaken in a more vain way. So first I wanna talk about some of the misconceptions of self-love. A lot of people might think that self-love might be liking how you look or maybe self-care. And that is definitely, definitely a part of it, but that's not the full thing. I think that's something that social media and our generation kind of pushes a lot like just like how you look and do self-care and manifestation and all these things and it's like yes that is a part of it but no so this is completely different this is something that actually takes mental practice there's a core part of um, self-love and self-care that we need to be practicing so let's get into detail on how we tap into this mindset. I literally need you guys to step out of your body. I need you to have an out of body experience and kind of just self reflect over how your life is right now. Are you happy with where you are? Do you feel like you're treating yourself the way you should be? Do you feel like you're practicing self love? So this process I like to call outer body regulation, which is when you kind of step out of yourself and overlook everything that you have going on in life. Kind of paying attention to your social psychology, how you interact with others, how you take care of yourself, and how you're meeting your goals in life. Now I want you to pay attention to how you treat others and who you have the best interest for. So how do we love other people? Pay attention to how you love other people. Pay attention to how you love your friends, how you love your children, how you love your family. And this is just, this is crazy to me because Sometimes I feel like when we love other people, we tend to pour more into them than ourselves. So let's say your friend is working on something and you know, you're advocating for them, you're telling them they can do it. This type of love that we're pushing out to others, we need to start pushing it into ourselves. Pay attention to your concerns when you love other people. For example, children. I don't have kids of my own, but I can imagine you know someone with kids really takes their time to raise their children and speak good word into their children. Think about how you would love your child or how you would love your close friend or significant other. And essentially what I'm trying to say is self-love is raising yourself, right? Just like how you would raise a child, you need to do those things for yourself. Now it's time to strengthen your internal dialogue. And by internal dialogue, I mean that voice in your head that tells you what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, that's right, that doesn't feel right. Just strengthen that dialogue and respect that dialogue a little bit more. This dialogue is your conscience, your intuition, and this is what's basically gonna guide you and raise you within your life. Your internal dialogue is what's gonna help you execute this mindset. So now, let's talk about how we execute this mindset. You wanna make sure that you're trying your best to push yourself and you're setting attainable goals, right? So if you know that you have a goal to be more fit or maybe to do something at work, you need to really push yourself. And I'm not just saying like telling yourself, oh, you can do it, you can do it. Like, no, you need to actually push yourself to the point of almost failure because that means that you're actually making some sort of effort, right? I know a lot of times, we tend to kind of like, mm, you know, I'm feeling a little bit tired, so let me take a break. But deep down, we know, you know, our internal dialogue with, that we should be listening to is telling us that this break is not necessarily deserved or needed. But we kind of push that dialogue and we do what feels more comfortable, right? This is what's gonna get you closer to your attainable goals. The next thing you would do is 
reducing bad habits, right? Like I said, we're, we're going back into this internal dialogue. When you're maybe doing something you know you're not supposed to be doing or you know you're not supposed to be taking that drink or you know doing something that could encourage formation of bad habits, you know generally deep down that you're not supposed to be doing those things. A part of executing this mindset is listening to your body when it's telling you that, hey, this thing that you're about to do is going to encourage this bad habit that will form if you keep doing this thing over and over again. I know we're not perfect, but it's important to understand what we've done wrong and how these actions can form bad habits. The next thing I want to emphasize is paying attention to what you're good at and using that in an advantage in life. So if you know you have certain skills that you're really good at or something that you've worked on, you need to use that to advance your life. So whether you have really good social skills, really good technical skills, that's gonna be your strength. For example, I know I have pretty decent social skills. I think that I get along with people pretty well. I like to say I'm a people person. So I use that as an advantage in my life to make the proper connections and surround myself by the right people that will help me succeed in life, right? So I'm using my social skills to my best advantage. I might not be, you know, as good in the technical side of things and I might still be working on being better in other aspects of life, but I know that my strength is socializing and connecting with people. So that's what I use in order to advance myself in life. Another important thing is being open to learning and growth. This is so powerful because when you're open to learning, you're open to growing, right? We can't assume that we know everything and that nobody can tell us nothing and this is my way or the highway. No, we have to be very open to hearing other opinions, hearing other perspectives, and trying to figure out how we can grow from certain situations in life. You think about someone who is super close-minded and you know isn't open to hearing what others have to say and think that they're only right, that person is not going to advance in life. Part of loving yourself is allowing yourself to grow and learn from situations. Even when we know we're wrong, sometimes we might not want to admit it and that right there is what is going to hinder your growth. The next thing is surrounding yourself by the right people. Make sure you're surrounding yourself within a beneficial environment. This is so important because you literally are what you surround yourself with. I think everyone has probably already heard this from their mother, right? If you're hanging around a lot of people that might be lazy, that make a lot of excuses for themselves, you literally will become like that. I hate to say it, but that's the case. Like you can be the most driven person and now you start to surround yourself with people who aren't as you know steady and driven as you are and you will slowly start to make excuses for yourself because they're going to make excuses for you so make sure that you're surrounding yourself in the correct environment that is aligned with the goals that you're trying to reach so if you're trying to be an amazing business mogul in the next 10 years make sure that you're making those business mogul connections make sure you're surrounding yourself by people who are driven and disciplined Lastly, I want to say be intentional with your actions. Like I said before, we're humans, we're not perfect. Sometimes we just do things just to do things, but make sure that you're more intentional when you do things. Try to integrate more intention in your day-to-day -day life. For example, if you're studying something in school, what is your intent for what you're studying, right? If you're working a certain job, what is your intent for working that job? We're not doing things just to do it in 2023, okay? We're very intentional, we're very purposeful. We're making use of every day. When you're intentional about things, you're working towards something, right? When you keep working and working and working towards it, you're getting closer to whatever that goal might be. You're doing everything with intent. Now, all these things I've listed is obviously not something that can happen overnight. This is even something that I'm still practicing and learning from. So make sure that when you're trying to practice this mindset or become more disciplined in life, that you understand that this is a process and this isn't something that's just gonna happen the next day. So now that I've given you all the steps, we're going to tap into this mindset and then we're gonna start to intricate these things in our day-to-day -day lives. You will start to see change in your life. You will start to see that you might start, you might start losing friends and you'll start gaining you know, friends that are more beneficial towards your life. You might start 
seeing a change in your surroundings. So this is what you can do to adopt this lifestyle. You wanna become more disciplined and you want to love yourself a little bit more. You wanna look after yourself and essentially raise yourself. This is what you're doing. You're learning from your mistakes and you are doing better in life. I challenge you guys to try this mindset or at least strengthen your internal dialogue and you will see change. Respect that inner voice inside your head that tells you when something is wrong and tells you what you should do to improve. If you like this video, subscribe because I have a lot more coming just like this. I think this is gonna be like more of what I'm trying to tap into, motivational and advice videos. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, and share this with a friend who you want to practice this mindset with. And we're gonna title this the self-love mindset. So I hope you guys gained something from this. I hope that, you know, this was a very helpful video. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. You know, I'm a little bit more of a slay queen on the gram. Um, but if you want to check out my Instagram, I'm going to leave it in the description down below. And you can check out all my other links as well. I think that's it. I think, I think I've been talking for a little minute. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye, glam girls.